Good day. One of the things that I find really frustrating at times has been the organisation of knowledge and files on the computer. And particularly these days when you've got an abundance of knowledge and information just coming at you from every quarter, it can be very difficult to try and get a system that allows you to manage that information properly. So today's video, I thought I would talk further about what I use, which is the Johnny Decimal System. Now, I've been around these machines for too many years, and I've probably lost more files than I've found. And it was the Johnny Decimal System that gave me the way to manage my information so that I had a pretty fair idea where it was most of the time. And this all started really by putting it into my Obsidian Vault, and then I have since extended it to my hard drive as well and tried to make the folder numbers exactly the same. So what I intend to do today is to actually go through that and talk to you about it and show you what I've done. So the Obsidian Personal Management Management System, or PKM, is one of many that is available on the web, but it's just the one that suits me and that I love very, very much. It is really tailored to suit an individual's needs as a solution. It's not designed at this stage for team use, it's designed for individual use and privacy is the biggest factor. If you're not familiar with Obsidian, uh, it's all in Markdown, which means that it's effectively text-based and your files will never ever be lost as long as you can get hold of a text editor somewhere. Now, the Johnny Decimal System uh, is a flexible and scalable organisational framework for both PKMs and filing systems generally. And the one that I'm going to show you today is an example and what you might call a minimum viable product to give you a start. Now, the system is completely customisable to fit your individual preferences and workflows and will provide you with the ability to generate a bespoke solution for your knowledge management needs. Now, the system was originally inspired by the Dewey Decimal System, and you may be familiar with that from the use that it has in libraries, but it was adapted for personal use by Johnny Noble from Canberra in Australia. Fellow Aussie, good on you. The Johnny Decimal System integrates with Obsidian quite easily, and it takes what is already a very powerful note-making app into a super powerful one, as far as I'm concerned. There is a number of other systems around for organizing your notes. The Para Method by Tiago Forte, Nick Milo has the ACE system, and there's nothing wrong with them. It depends on what it suits you, and that's the important aspect of a personal knowledge management system, is making sure that you make it personal for you. When it comes to PKMs, there are enormous benefits for students, researchers, professionals and lifelong learners simply to be able to keep all of your notes and your knowledge organised in a way which makes it readily accessible. So Obsidian provides for quick information retrieval by using searches. You can link ideas across domains and find a network of notes very simply. It fosters a deeper understanding of the notes that you are looking at because you can actually add to them over time and, in, and build on them and increase them. It helps you with your decision-making capabilities because you've got all the information there in front of you and it can also unlock more information and self-discovery. So the flexibility of the Johnny Decimal system in achieving these goals is just remarkable through Obsidian. As I said, the Johnny Decimal system is not a one-size-fits-all but it can be customised to fit to your unique needs and preferences. And it's worthwhile experimenting with different categories and structures so that you can align your PKM needs to your personal thinking, your personal working style, and your personal learning. The system is completely adaptable, and you can change it over time. As your needs change, you change the system. It's not locked in concrete forever. So let's have a look at our example, Minimum Viable Product, uh, to give you a bit of an idea of what the system looks like. Okay, so on the screen here, I've actually got the article that I wrote on the Johnny Decimal System, uh, and it's got all the information in there, which includes the 
minimum viable product, if you like the example, which is here, the Johnny Decimal system that I've set up. And I've done this with the help of ChatGPT. It's done a good job of setting it all up. I've then gone in and ideated with it and made some additional provisions for things like Obsidian. So it's got a fair bit of information there that you can go through and have a look at and get some ideas from. And that's the main thing, to ideate. So if we have a look here, you can see that it's got double O all the way through up until 90. And then it has sub numbers in here as well. And in the article, there's a link to Johnny Decimal's own site. So you can get a lot more information about that. And you can also get a lot more information from having a look at the article, which will be linked in the show notes, of course. Now, as a bit of a little bonus, you get to see my own system, which is set up here on the left-hand side, which is a little bit different. And I think we can go through it. I'll just have a look here. Inbox, I have my Kanbans, Readwise. I've got my interests, AI philosophy would work there. Uh, then I've got 20 creations where I keep the videos, presentations, etc. I've got you know, all of my Obsidian files in here. Then I have any concepts, which is quite a lot of notes in there. This is to do with my business. Uh, this professional talks about boards and organisation and other things that I might do in a professional sense. Uh, then I have my sources, which is books and videos, articles, quotes. Learning and education is where I put all my courses that I'm doing or have done, academic references, etc. And then finally, I've got my personal area of my vault where I keep things like um, my CV, ID documents, things like that. And there's a few other things there. So anyway, that is my own structure which took me some time to work out and I didn't have the benefit of something like this to start out with. So I hope that that will give you a bit of a start and give you some ideas about what you can do to develop your own Johnny Decimal system. So I hope that gives you an idea of the power of transforming what might be just a very ordinary personal knowledge management system with Obsidian into something that could be super powerful because you know where everything is. Take the minimum viable product approach and do it bit by bit. Think about what you, you need and build your structure as you go rather than try and do it all at once. You can continue to organise it until such time as you get it right. I would also suggest that you don't immediately apply this to your hard drive on your computer or anywhere else until such time as you feel comfortable with having it working in your PKM and then by all means expand it into your other information management systems. So this way, by using the Johnny Decimal system, I think it can give you the power to take more control over your digital life. It can enhance your productivity, your creativity, and your intellectual growth, particularly by stimulating with the number of links that are generated through Obsidian. So have a look at the Johnny Decimal system. Have a look at uh, Johnny's site in the links. Uh, read the information that's there, read the full article that I've written on uh, my website uh, and download Obsidian and start building your personalised Johnny Decimal Index if you don't already have Obsidian. There's plenty of information on my channel about other ways to use Obsidian and ways that you can apply it to build your own personal knowledge management. And I'd love to hear your comments and your experiences uh, in the comment section here or in the comment section at the foot of the article. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.